Shamatha meditation was one of the two main forms of meditation originally identified by Shakyamuni Buddha some 2,500 years ago. The other was Vipassana, or insight meditation. Although the two kinds of meditation are sometimes taught together, it's most common to learn shamatha first and Vipassana second. In other words, shamatha is the fundamental basis for almost all other forms of meditation. It's, it, and there's a reason for this. An analogy that I often use is that of trying to thread a needle with shaky hands. It's really difficult. Shamatha meditation removes the shakiness from the hands of the mind so that the more advanced forms of meditation, like Vipassana, can be learned. Shamatha is the place to start. It's the beginning place. Uh, there's nothing low level about shamatha. It's just a building block that you have to have. Um, and it's, it's the building block upon which all other meditation practices are based in almost any different uh, approach. Now, today in the world we live in, there are not only hundreds of types of meditation, but there are scores of approaches to teaching each type. And that goes for what's being presented here. I make no claims to be definitive, and I encourage you to read other accounts. Much of what I write here has to do with misunderstandings that I've had, misunderstandings that I had while learning meditation, and some suggestions that would have saved me literally years of time. I wish I could have read. I wish I could have read some of these same suggestions that I'm going to go over here. Right, now, I actually learned to read enough Tibetan to know that there are dozens of words for meditation in that language. Here, here in the West, in, in the U.S., we basically have one word, the word meditation, and it covers hundreds of techniques that people claim to be meditation. Everything from having lava lamps and lighting incense, and there's all kinds of like guided meditations and relaxation therapies. It goes on and on. So a good question that I had, and that I bet you a lot of people have, is how do we sort through all of these kinds of meditation for something authentic, something that has been around for more than 50 years? I mean, we don't have time to try hundreds of different types of meditation because each one takes a very long time to get any results whatsoever. And don't mistake me, there's nothing wrong with the relaxation therapies. And there's nothing wrong, of course, with relaxing and just cooling out. And you can call it meditation if you wish. However, I find it helpful to distinguish the traditional, the tried and true kinds of meditation techniques. You know, ones that have been around for a thousand years from those that are just perhaps, you know, a current fad. The particular meditation presented here has been around for at least 2,500 years because it was taught by the Buddha himself. My particular lineage, where I learned it from, originated in India, and it came into Tibet from a man called Marpa the Translator and others, and eventually was taught to perhaps the greatest Tibetan yogi, Milarepa who then transmitted it to Gampopa. And he, in turn, transmitted it to uh, Duzim Kempa, who was the first Karmapa, who's a leader like the Dalai Lama. And this went on down the line of 17 Karmapas to the 17th Karmapa living today. Um, now, I learned it personally from Chogyam Trungpa Rinpoche in 1974. You know, I had messed around with meditation before that. I had tried to, to meditate, but I really didn't have any really idea what it was and or, or even what I was doing. I was just meditating because it was kind of cool to meditate, but people thought it was, and I was trying to figure out what that was. Now, I finally have learned it, and Margaret and I, my wife, have run the Heart Center KTC 
and KKSG now, and I've taught meditation since the mid-1980s. So let me get to my point. This kind of meditation, shamatha meditation, is indeed an authentic form of meditation that's been passed down from mouth to ear for centuries. I've been given permission to teach it by the Venerable Kempo Kata Rinpoche, a Tibetan Lama, but this form of meditation is taught by both the Zen and Tibetan Buddhists, not to mention various Hindu groups as well as in Japan, Korea, Nepal, in fact, all over Asia. So it's not some kind of weird meditation. It's like the standard meditation that has been uh, used for centuries. It's called shamatha in Sanskrit, which means calm abiding or to rest in the calm. And it involves simply learning how to allow the mind to just rest naturally. And as mentioned, this form of meditation is the basis for further and more advanced forms of meditation. 